Hi, I'm Mallory, and I'm excited to show you Fulcrum's Customer Portal. This feature shows your customer live updates about their sales orders and their invoices in easy to view grids. This means that you can stay connected to your customers and keep them in the loop without having to call or email. To get started, you'll share a link with your customers that goes directly to the portal. This is what the sign-on screen looks like, and they're gonna log in either by creating an email address and password, or they can use single sign-on through Google or Microsoft. As long as the email address that the customer uses with you is what they use to log into the customer portal, they will see all of their orders and their invoices right away. Inside the portal, they're gonna see two dynamic grids that show all the important details that they wanna know. On these grids, they can sort by various things like order date, or they can filter for various statuses. Let's say I wanted to see everything that's in progress right now. You can also search here if there's a certain uh, purchase order that you have in mind. And then you can click a line item to show basic details of the order. The other grid shows you the same information, but for your invoices. You can do all the same actions like sorting and filtering. This makes it super easy for your customers to track and manage both orders and invoices that they place with you all right here. Because the data flows live from Fulcrum's production management system, customers will be seamlessly connected to you. This level of visibility sets you apart from other shops. And to make things really easy, you can embed the link to the portal in your Fulcrum email templates so that the link is sent to the customer along with their sales order or invoice. We've also ensured secure access and permissions to the customer portal. This will be an option to turn on for all customers. Once you turn on the setting from the business setup in Fulcrum, you'll be able to control the access for individual customers. Here is a customer page in Fulcrum. As you can see, you can toggle here to turn it on or off. To adjust access on a more individual basis, head to sales orders or invoices in Fulcrum. Here is the main page of a sales order. This contact or email address tied to the order or invoice in Fulcrum is the email that would be able to view the record in the portal. If you edit this contact information, you can change the individual or you can remove their access entirely if you didn't want this particular order displaying for this customer. If there is a shared sales account with your customer, you could use the team sales email for your orders as well. These same options to edit individual access, they exist for invoices too. As a Fulcrum admin, you'll be able to log into the customer portal to see exactly what your customers see. For example, with this sales order, number 1071, if you wanted to look at the way it's displayed to your customer, you can head to the portal and view it the same way that your customer can. This was a quick overview of the customer portal. You have a lot of options for leveraging this feature to make it work best for you and your business. This tool is a unique feature that Fulcrum is excited to offer and it's one step closer to creating a digital network of manufacturers.